Well, hey there, at one of my uh, favorite spots, and we've had a bunch of rain overnight, so uh, not sure how that's gonna make the water look. But um, should have got out here a little earlier, but I'm gonna try a little top water and see if we can uh, catch a few bass that way. We'll do that for a little bit, then we're just gonna go uh, junk fishing and try to catch some bass. So let's get this uh, boat in the water and uh, see what happens. Oh. I don't know how that came off. Here we go. There's a fish. Doesn't feel like a big one. And it's not a big one. But that is a great start here. We've only been out here about, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes threw a couple of top waters along there and didn't get anything but there we go first cast with the uh, little kitex swim bait there still on I feel the head shake oh, there we go Oh yeah, <laughs> frog basses are fun. Oh yeah, a frog bass. Whew. Yes, that is fun. We got overcast skies here. We had rain all night and some other scattered showers running in. And in these lilies, I figured uh, I'd throw this little uh, dark colored frog today oh that's fun right there something little down there just keeps swimming off with it here we go that one's a bass though that one's a bass that wasn't the bite that the other one was unless there's just a bunch of little ones down there where you at Oh, there we go. Now that's a decent bass. Keeper number two. No big ones yet. Here's a fish. That's a little bass, I think. It's got to be a gar. It's It's got to be gar that are just grabbing, biting in that. Must be gar down there. That's the second one that's bit off. It's gotta be gar. That's the second shaky head I've lost down there. That was a gar there. Stole me again. The gar, that's the third shaky head now I've lost to a gar. They just snap it and cut, cut them. Turned the camera off and then forgot to turn it back on. I switched up, uh, plastics here I put a little um, creature bait on there and caught this little two two and a half pounder probably two pounder there so that's uh keeper number three water with the other two Feels like a good one too. Maybe not as big as the other one. About the same size, maybe. There we go. 
<laughs> oh, this is getting fun right here. I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Once I get this fish in the live well. is they spawned back in these flats here. They, they went and spawned back in there. And this right here, we're in 11 to 13 feet of water. But there's an old road bed that kind of goes from over on this side and it runs across here. On the other side of that road bed, it's between six and eight feet of water. I'm throwing that shaky head up on that flat and I'm bringing it back through and letting it come over top, over top of that road bed. And they're usually sitting on that road bed. Here we go. Oh, why did I do that? That was a good one. That was stupid. Oh, well. That would have been keeper number five. I should have just let it tire itself out. Yep. Got me. There are definitely fish stacked up down there. I'm trying to stay off the spot. There's none right here on the... Well, there's a couple right here. Off to the side a little bit. a little one I think well maybe not maybe little head shakes I feel head shakes where you at is it just way out there it's coming to me there we go it wasn't a little one that's keeper number five well praise the Lord for that that's the best one of the day so far and that was one of the softest bites. They are definitely just down there, and it has to be, it has to be slow to drug across them for them to eat it. That's the best one of the day. And keeper number five. I just put some fresh water in there for them, so I'll let them uh, talk to each other for a little while. Oh, that's fun. That is fun. Well, hey, we have five keepers in the well right now, and it is about 10 o'clock. So I uh, figure I'll leave that little school bee. I caught one uh, on a frog earlier, and then I found some of uh, those schooling staging bass. As I explained, there's this little road bed that runs right through here. It's about um, eight feet to six feet where I'm at, just about 20 yards over, 20 yards uh, back behind me. Just in the trolling motor there it's uh 13 feet deep so i was dragging a jig uh, head i got uh, stolen by several gar they bit off the the line i had so i lost three of those shaky heads so i was using a swim jig on the last one just dragging it across the bottom with a creature bait on it i don't want i don't want to bother these fish anymore my dad is coming up to, tonight tomorrow and i will hopefully that uh that school will still be there and hopefully we can get them fired up like i did today and uh Hopefully he can catch some bass too. Well, how about that right there? Turn that air down just a little bit. We ended up uh, catching five keepers. Topwater bite wasn't going to happen during the uh, during the midday and afternoon, so figured I'd call today. And uh, that was a great morning. I didn't get out here till about seven o'clock. Ended up catching uh, a whole bunch of bass, including uh, five keepers and uh, keeper size is 15 inches so uh, those are always fun to catch so what did we do well first uh, thing in the morning I threw that frog and I uh, threw a swim bait and then I uh, I ended up catching most of them on a shaky head or a jig drug along the bottom where they were staging the bass are done spawning 
they move up and are in those uh, lilies feeding in the milfoil feeding and then they're also moving out and resting and staging before they move out uh, a lot deeper um, in the in the middle of the summer i think a lot of these bass were on that first uh, ledge that were moving out right there when it went from 8 to 13 feet and then uh I assume there's some out deeper, but I didn't go and look for them. I'll have to do that another day. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you get out and do some fishing. Um, the bass are starting to get into a predictable pattern now. Uh, it's been spread out a little bit all over the place, and now they're starting to, to do the top water early and then the move out to the uh, to the ledges. And uh, that's a good pattern to it's a good pattern to fish. So hope you get out. Hope you enjoy the summer. Be safe. And until next time, I'm Daniel, the Low Budget Outdoorsman. God bless.